What is going on, everybody? And welcome back. We are back on some UFC 4, our career mode. We're moving forward. Our man is looking right. Let's go. It was the last fight. It was a good fight. Um, we couldn't do it in the first round, but that's okay. You know, that's how that goes sometimes. So we're going to do what we can on this one. We definitely are going to have a training camp ahead of us. We're going to accept Gregory's offer to fight and see what we can do. As you can see, our starting fitness is going to be low. So we're definitely going to have to hit it hard in training camp. Hopefully, we don't have any injuries and hopefully um we're all healed up from that wrist injury we didn't have a lot of power in that last one we got the win but we did actually suffer a little bit because of that injury that we had during training camp but i appreciate you guys taking the opportunity to watch you guys are awesome and we're gonna move forward and see what we can do he's 27 years old he's 6'2 he weighs 185 pounds he got a 71 inch reach so we're gonna try to make it happen okay Time to work. Let's go. That was some good work in there. Again, drillers make killers. We're getting close to the fight, and I know you usually like to taper down, but let's get in some extra work to make sure we're ready. Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the Jiu-Jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, okay, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ready. Ready to fight? So after a win by knockout in his UFC debut, here he is making the walk yet again. We'll see if he can move the two. And okay, again. we, I will say, we did not have a good training cramp. Definitely didn't. This dude is a submission specialist, so we got to we gotta keep that in mind. But we're going to try to lean into him. We got him on weight. We got him on reach, so we're definitely going to try to keep going there like this training camp was not good we had a couple of injuries but we're gonna see what we can do this is our second fight in the ufc so we're, we're gonna see oh that was a good hook that was a very good hook okay let's see you know jump again oh oh they never see it coming <laughs> they never see it coming oh the spinning back fist Nice. Let's let's hit the body a little bit. Let's hit the body. Let's hit the body. Mmm. Mmm. Uppercut. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The jab. That's how you gotta do it. You gotta close that space. Nah. 
We're gonna keep this fight on the ground. If he is a submission specialist, so we're gonna tr see if we can make it happen. And if he grabs us, we're in trouble. Mm, let's go. Okay, we didn't get it that time. <laughs> mm, take the hit. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Let's get these quick, quick leg hits in. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's see if we can get the overhead. Oh, no. Oh, let's see. Oh, the spinning back fist. <laughs> Woo! The spinning back fist. Oh, we both jumped. <laughs> that was interesting. That was cool. But mm, we're gonna jump. We're gonna jump. We're gonna hit him in the head. We're gonna hit him in the head. We're gonna... Oh, woo, okay. Let's see if we can get some uppercuts. Let's see if we can get some uppercuts. Some power hits. Let's see where the power at. Ooh, I missed that uppercut. I definitely did. Let's see. Oh, we're about to go up. We're about, we're about to go up top. Woo. Like you said, that patented jab. I'm telling you, this is my bread and butter is the jab. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Woo, sit down. He's up. How did he get up from that? That dagger. Oh. I uh, hit him in the head. Woo, he survived. He definitely did survive. He wasn't like my last opponent. This wasn't a three-minute fight. He survived round one. I like that. Oh, look at that. Ooh, let's go. You scored a knockdown. Don't get over aggressive. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You got it. You got it. Yeah, give me some ice. Give me some ice. And we, we're going back. He don't look ready. I wanted to come out and kick him in the head. I really did. Ooh. He's he's hitting his body. Woo! Oh, I blocked that one. Yeah. Oh, I tried. Yeah, he's hitting me hard in the body. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like that he uses his feet too. He's a jujitsu specialist, submission specialist, so he's using his whole body and I like that. Woo! That was a high knee. That was a nice knee, too. All right, all right. He's got it. He, he, he knows what's up. Oh, I didn't get him. Okay, all right. His footwork, he's moving. I like that. He's, he's moving. Let's see. Let's see the uppercut. The uppercut. The uppercut. The uppercut. He sleep. Oh, ground and pound. Oh, yeah. He's out of here. He is out of here. The ground and pound. Let's go. We got him. I like it. Bang! That was a hard uppercut. He ran right into it, and I like it. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at one minute, 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Let's go. Let's go. We got the win. Round two. We didn't really get much injury, so I'm going to take that. I'm definitely going to take that. I appreciate you guys watching. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. If you can, leave me a like, comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate that. We're having fun. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you, and I will definitely see you on the next one.